All right, so uh, you'll have to excuse my uh, poor audio here, but this is what I have right at the moment. All right, so I've gotten a lot of confusion. I uh, heard, heard a lot of confusion about uh, shooting raw on the uh, Blackmagic camera and coming into Resolve and seeing uh, not a flat image and being a little bit confused by that. So uh, we're going to take a look at how to get that flat look to start uh, out your grade. Um, so when you have a clip in Resolve in the uh, color uh, tab here, you'll notice that it's in uh, kind of a Rec. 709 color space and, and uh, gamma curve. So we're going to click on this uh, camera icon right here, which is the, the camera raw page. And when it comes in by default, it says the code using Cinema DNG default. Okay, so we're going to change this to clip. And then down here you have a chance to set a white balance, uh, a custom, you can pick from any of these presets, and then you can pick your color space. And here's where the magic happens. We're going to choose BMD film, and boom, there it is flat. Um, you can change your gamma, uh, but not when you're in BMD film, it is BMD film. So that's how you can do it. You can Then you can change any of the other settings in here, uh, where you can have your uh, color temperature change, tint, and all these things. So if you don't want to do that on a per clip basis, you can come in here and go, go to the little gear down here and go to your settings and go down to camera raw and then choose cinema DNG. And here is where you can change this to project and change your, you can pick a white balance, you can pick a color space, gamma, and highlight recovery, and you can change your color temperature, your tint, and your exposure all right here. And then it will, by default, treat that as uh, your default when uh, dealing with Blackmagic camera files. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks.